let's have a look at customizing keyboard shortcuts. As you've known so far, most tools have keyboard shortcuts. For example, lasso tools have the keyboard shortcut L. You can also, you've also seen some keyboard shortcuts in the menu. So for example, you can zoom in, zoom out using Control or Command plus and minus, Control 1 or Command 1 to go to 100% view and so on. And Photoshop allows you to customize keyboard shortcuts. So if you go to Edit menu, and then Keyboard Shortcuts in here, you can customize the keyboard. This might be on the Photoshop menu on a Mac, as usual. So you've got a Keyboard Shortcuts in here, and you can customize the Keyboard Shortcuts. You can also customize the menus as well. Okay, but let's have a look at the Keyboard Shortcuts in here. So for example, let's say, if you look at the File menu here, as you scroll down, something I use quite a lot and doesn't have a Keyboard Shortcut, well, Export S by default doesn't have a keyboard shortcut. I actually added keyboard shortcut myself. So what I did, if I just delete it from here, Export S doesn't have a keyboard shortcut. And I use it quite a lot for exporting images for the web. So what you can do is you select Export S command, click next to it under shortcut, and add a keyboard shortcut. Ideally, you'll be looking at something that you haven't used or is not used in Photoshop. If it is, Photoshop will tell you about it. So I normally use Control Shift Alt W. <laughs> Okay, because it's not being used, so I'll click Accept, and it changes. Another option doesn't have a keyboard shortcut, and I use it quite a lot as well, is for placing images, especially place embedded. So what we could do is maybe use something that's already used, but we don't use it. So looking at the File menu, we have this Alt Control Zero or Shift Control Zero for browsing bridge, and I only do it in Photoshop. So what I could do is use this keyboard shortcut. So if I scroll down to place embedded, and I'll press Control Alt O B O not zero. It's already used by Browsing Bridge. That's okay. I'm happy to remove it from File Browsing Bridge. So I'll click Accept. Okay. And I'll just click OK because we customize it. Another two options you get in here is these two icons on the top. They allow you to actually save all the changes. And you can also create a new set based on these. But I'll just click OK in here. And now we have the key keyboard shortcuts. So if I press Control Shift Alt W, I'll get this export as dialog box. Here we go. Press Cancel. If I press Control Alt O, I'll get the place embedded dialog box. There we go. And as you may have noticed, this is when you customize your own workspace and when you save it, if I go New Workspace, I'm going to override mine again. You can also remember your keyboard shortcuts. And I'll click Save and overwrite it. OK, we're done with this section. That's how you can customize keyboard shortcuts inside Photoshop.